city of Gastonia continues to grow, and people who live there say the parking situation downtown is only getting worse. Yeah, more and more people are getting booted and towed, and now the city council is cracking down. Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow is live in Gastonia tonight to explain how the new ordinance will impact residents and towing companies. Well, Brian, residents here in Gastonia say towing has been an issue for years, but has gotten progressively worse recently. Now, the man I spoke to today said he parked his 18-wheeler in these spots as an abandoned auto bell parking lot overnight. And when he came back, he had to pay $5,000 to get it out of a towing lot. David Hamilton rolled into town at 3 in the morning on Saturday. After parking in the lot of this abandoned business before, he thought it would be okay to leave his truck there for a short time. It was retrieved within hours. Hardin's Affordable Towing, the company contracted with the property owners, booted the truck and hauled it off to their tow yard. Where did you go to justify charging $5,000 to remove something? Hamilton had to pay $5,500 to get his truck back from Hardin's, but they say their rates are fair. It cost us like $2,500 to have it removed off the property with, using the big rig. Uh, so, I mean, it's just that's just the fees on it. What cost you guys $2,500 now? To have the 18-wheeler uh, hauled off. When I asked Hardin's Affordable Towing where those costs come from, they say it's the cost of labor and contracting a larger rig to come pick up the 18-wheeler. Everybody's want to complain about the price, but we just got a job to do. There's no in-between that. You know, Everybody want to state how much it is to, for a tow, but they're not understanding due to that type of vehicle. It costs, it costs a lot, and it's a lot to do to remove that vehicle off the property. Hardin's Affordable Towing employees complained about the new city council ordinance regarding booting. They said the council and police are making it more and more difficult for property owners to get illegally parked vehicles off of their property. I'm not the bad guy. I got a job to do, you know, and like I say, that's what I'm going to do. The new version of the ordinance makes it illegal for towing companies to boot vehicles between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. unless the property owner provides a written approval for the tow. It could be an issue anywhere because there's just limited parking in Gastonia. So this could happen to anybody, whether it be a car, a vehicle. Uh, it, 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 if, if you go and get your car impounded and you can't get it out, and that's the only way you have to get your kids around, you're in a tough, tight situation. And one of the employees of Hardin's Affordable Towing said he actually almost went to jail for booting a car after 7 p.m. because he wasn't aware of the ordinance that had gotten passed yet. Live in Gastonia, Emma Withrow, Fox 46.